This is an updated demo of my accelerometer tracking project. I'm first going to show the old version, then I'm going to show the new version. Alright, now I am going to turn my microcontroller on. That's stuck. I'm going to have to reset it. There we go. Function queue is good. Got an IP address from the router. There we go. It's all hooked up and running. Now I'm going to go to my <coughs> program, run it. Here is the old one. Now as you can see I can move the accelerometer around and it will look good. Now you may notice that if I move it this way it actually, the pyramid does rotate to the right, and if I rotate the accelerometer left, it does rotate to the left. But if I try to rotate the accelerometer this way, the pyramid rotates the opposite direction. And that's actually a problem with this older one, in addition to it being kind of jerky and hopping around a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is show you my new one. Okay, I just checked it out of Git. Got to clean that solution. Build it again. All right, that's all built. I'm going to run it again. As you can see now, it is significantly smoother. Actually, I need to flip this thing around, I think. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, it's significantly smoother, and if I rotate the accelerometer this way, the pyramid matches. If I rotate it back, the pyramid also rotates back left right, they're both good, and it's significantly smoother. Okay, here is an overview of the accelerometer tracking project. This, this whole project started off as kind of a fascination a while back of me wanting to combine several things together and wanting just to see if I can get my microcontroller and PC working and see if I could render stuff. So I started learning some OpenGL, I started digging more into my microcontroller project, I learned how to use the microcontroller API's uh, TCP IP stack. It's a legacy stack, but it still works. So I figured out some of the stuff about using that. A little interesting note, when I was using the TCP IP stack, I accidentally deadlocked it a while back by forgetting that it got data over the network from an SPI interrupt, and when, when I forgot that, I tried to service the TCP IP stack every 50 milliseconds, but I called that from within an interrupt that triggered every 50 milliseconds. I thought, well, it seems fine, uh, but then it deadlocked, because it was coming into an interrupt, and then it was trying to service the TCP IP stack, but then it couldn't service the TCP IP stack because the interrupt flags weren't cleared, and so it just hung there. So what I ended up doing was creating a function queue instead that allowed various interrupts or any given function that or any given function that I wanted or any while loop to queue up functions and then they would be executed as fast as the microcontroller can do them. The accelerometer doesn't have the same axes that or at least it doesn't consider axes in the same way that OpenGL does. The accelerometer one one way was right uh, one way was X, another way was Y, another way was Z. Well, in OpenGL, the Z and the Y were actually flipped around, so I had to flip around that data. And that's about what that, that's about what you saw in the older the older version of the code. Now, for the newer version of the code, I flipped I flipped over I flipped around the X axis as well because apparently those two weren't talking or they weren't on the same page between the accelerometer and OpenGL. So I just flipped it around and then it was able to track in the appropriate direction, as you saw in the second demo. Now the cool part, I thought, for the interpolation was figuring out figuring out how to get multiple points in between where I wanted the pyramid to point at and where it was currently pointing. If you'll consider this to be pointing somewhere, this is the acceler this is the OpenGL pyramid. It's centered on the origin, about right here, and then you get something else that wants to point over here. I'll try to make these about the same distance. Well, <coughs> the accelerometer is spitting out the, it's spitting out data such that uh, 
if you took the length of the vector of the accelerometer data, it would always be approximately 1. So I can pretty much consider them a unit vector. And therefore, you can consider the pyramid to rotate around a sphere. A sphere with radius 1. So I took advantage of that. Now, consider that it is point, that the pyramid is pointing in one direction, and then I want it to point in another direction. Well, how do I do this? Well, after some research and thinking, I realized that this, this, and this are actually, there's actually a circle that, that goes around the surface of the sphere, and that intersects both these points, and that is centered on the sphere. So effectively, this becomes a two-dimensional triangle problem. These two points, when centered on the origin, form an isosceles triangle, and if I cut it in half, then, then I can take the linear distance between where I'm pointing and where I want to point, I can take that distance, that's the base of the triangle, cut it in half, now it's a right triangle, and I can easily calculate this, because I know the length of this, it's about 1, and I can know the length of there. And then I take that angle, multiply it by 2, and then I can divide this into however many segments I want. Now, I already had a function for individual shapes that was called point thine self as point. So I have a, I have a shape somewhere, and I tell it point over here, so it goes okay, and then point over here, so it goes okay. Once I had the angle between those two points, once I had this little angle here, I found it easier to just calculate these little points between the surfaces and then queue them up into a linear queue of points. So I did that. Now, you didn't see it in the demo, but there's actually an issue with the triangle disappearing, so I think I might have had one of my pointers in this in this new version, I might have gone off the end of an array, or maybe I had the next pointers in the individual nodes in the queue, maybe those went wrong, I'm not exactly sure. But that was the program, that's the demo, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it.